In part E, to find the transmitted fields, we need the transmission coefficient. And we can find that from the reflection coefficient, 1 plus the reflection coefficient. The reflection coefficient was negative, so we have minus 0.143, and we wind up with 0.857. Also, the transmitted field is in material 2, so we're going to need K2, because it's lossless. Omega square root of mu 2 epsilon 2, which is 40 pi. So, our transmitted electric field, a function of x and t, it's pointing in the same direction, so there's no sign change, it's still in the y hat direction, just like our incident wave. We have 8 multiplied times our transmission coefficient, 0.857 cosine 6 pi times 10 to the ninth t, and it's propagating again in the positive x direction, so we're going to have minus k, which is 40 pi x. So when we put all this in here, we have y hat, and simplifying we get 6.86 .6 cosine 6 pi times 10 to the ninth minus 40 pi x volts per meter.